I get so excited about what we're, what we're doing inside Live Life Build, what we're doing inside the industry, because we both believe that it can be different. Dwayne, one thing that we know from the time that we've been in this industry is how up and down it can be. And it's, you know, I remember somebody saying to me very early in my career, the construction industry is always the first thing out when times are tough. And then it's always the first thing back in. And at, you know, whatever time it is, whatever economic climate there is, there can always be doom and gloom about what's going on in the construction industry. Our media can be full of it, um, lots of negativity, and you can find lots of people inside the industry as well um, just want to complain, just want to be negative about things and really focus on what's not going well. Uh, how do you exist in that environment and still stay positive? Uh, look, it, it, it does take a lot of effort sometimes, but I used to be... Like I just used to whinge about everything and um, all that did was like start my days bad, get me in a bad mood, didn't want to get out of bed and it was a flow and effect and before you know it, you had wasted your day, you'd wasted your week and you'd had a bad month or it could be a few months and um, I basically, like I start, I got frustrated myself and I started to take responsibility. Well, if I'm just going to continue to whinge about everything, nothing's going to change. Everything's going to keep doing the, doing the same thing. I'm going to keep having the same problems. And probably the big one for me was like, I just, I had this dream for so long because like I had seen um, like family members growing up. Uh, a lot of my family's in the industry, painters, renderers, concreters, like, there's all sorts of uh, builders. Um, and I'd seen them all struggle and with depression and anxiety and they all blamed the industry. And like I started to get to a point where I didn't like the industry because of what it was doing to me as I grew up. So um, like I got my apprenticeship, I got in the industry, my, the two bosses I had during my apprenticeship really struggled and they, they blamed everything. And then I started out and like I would, I would try and talk to other builders and um, like I'd, I'd try and find a shoulder to lean on and get some um, advice and stuff. And it was really heartbreaking. Like I, I can remember asking multiple builders, like I'd be having a bad day or I'd be in trouble for something, I'd be losing money. And I'd say to other builders, oh, like, man, this industry is hard. Like surely there's something we can do. And like they'd all just go, mate, harden up. It's the industry, deal with it. And I just got to a point where like, if like I'm the only one that can make a difference here. so. If I want to stop whinging about things if, and complaining about things and having bad days and, and thinking that my world's all wrong, I'm the only one that can change that. So, um, and I did, ultimately, like, that's sort of what's led to Live Life Build and like, Live Life Build now is like, our purpose is to change the industry. And I remember even, uh, even leading up to the, the starting of Live Life Build, like, I just, I, I got to this point where I used to keep thinking to myself, I'm going to change this industry. Like, I'm going to, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And like, I quite, I got um, asked to speak at a few events a few times and um, it went really well. People took it really well. And I got called into an association to have a talk about what I was trying to do. And they basically told me, look, Dwayne, I com we commend you for what you're doing, but we won't support you. And for, for me, that was heartbreaking. Like, I took it quite badly. I remember going out of that meeting and jumping on the phone to Camille and, you guessed it, I had a big whinge. Like I come out of that meeting and I just whinged about the industry. So um, I remember like in the early days of Live Life Build where you and I were doing business planning and um, talking about what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do it. And like I, I even did a few stories on social media and just like getting so worked up and high on this fact that we are making a difference. and. We've uh, Live Life Builds just over two years old now and our purpose is just growing and growing and for me that's that's me like I the doom and gloom is never going to change and it's not just our industry at the end of the day like um, so it's up to us how we want that the ending to be so it doesn't matter if you read papers if you listen to the news you're always going to find a bad story about the industry so it's up to you to, to switch it off, get away from it and run your own race.
Yeah, it's such great advice. And I think that this is really, you shape the way that you see the world. You shape the kind of experience that you get to have in the world. If you are constantly sitting and complaining about things that you can't control um, and feeding the beast of all of that kind of stuff, instead of looking at what can I control, what can I change, and then what am I going to do about it, then you put yourself in a much better position to be able to create that change. And like you, I get so excited about what we're, what we're doing inside Live Life Build, what we're doing inside the industry, because we both believe that it can be different and we're seeing that it can actually be different. So it's really, really exciting. And the thing, like the big change for me is, like, are you, it's a lot about words we use as well. And um, like I always used to say, I'm, I'm going to change this industry. But like now, when I talk, it's we are like we are making a difference. We, we, um, we are we are saving lives. We get told by people all the time like you, um, and that's probably been the biggest driver for me. Like I do take this quite personal because over the years we've we have lost family members from suicide and things. So for me to be able to be in a position with Live Life Build, um, like your passion and my passion and be able to help family businesses out. Like it really it brings tears to my eyes. I, I love it. I'm so passionate about it. And um, like we are, we're making a difference and I believe that if we keep going down the path we're going down, we're gonna have an army of builders that want to want to have the same purpose, the same passion and we will separate our industry and, and create a better place for small family custom residential builders.